Dear Dad, I sit here with you. The smell of freshly cut grass seeping through the hospital wards. The blue curtain, which separates you from the other man, ripples like waves in the gentle wind. I sit with you quietly. You get muddled now, half sleeping, half awake, your dreams becoming ever-present, merging with your waking moments. Words come from you, at times, asking me if you are in trouble or you did something wrong. I try to reassure you, but quickly you drift away again. I never told you this. I tried to. But it's not something a daughter tells her father. I died once before. I was 30, and I couldn't be the person or live the life I was expected to live. I'd seen too much. I'd thought too much. I'd felt too much. So, I gave up. I just couldn't bear the suffering of others or myself anymore. I didn't kill myself, but inside, I just let go. I let go of it all. And Lisa flashed in front of me my whole life. You, Mum, James, my childhood. My failures, successes, my truths and lies. Like I was watching a film. And it got further and further away. Until eventually everything began to disappear. Even me. I was so still. And silent. And empty. And love wrapped infinitely around the vast void like the endless space hugging our planet. Love that you only dream of. Love that is so beautiful and full and free and empty of any concept. And I died. And I could have been there for eternity. I don't know. But the love was beyond. Maybe it's what's known as heaven. But I woke from it. I came back. However, I never really leave that love anymore. I feel that love in every action. In every moment, it's here seeping in through the tiniest holes in time. Even now, when I sit with you in your last days, with your physical and mental suffering, I know that love. It's all around us. It's the foundation of this life. You sit with me, and I see the man that used to lift me on his shoulders and swirl me in the air, joy, bursting from my being. You sit with me and I see the man that taught me compassion and love and to think outside of the box. I sit with the man that I once called father and I tell you, you can let go now. You can give everything back. You no longer have to fix a computer or file a tax return or look after me or mum or James or walk my dog for me. You're free now to leave. And I whisper to you like the wind rippling the curtain, like the sunlight pouring through the open window, like an endless whisper of life. can let go now. 
you can give everything back. There is nothing to be afraid of. This life, your life, was made from love. You simply forgot. You can let go now, Dad. I love you. Thank you.